two cents. Welcome to Straw Family Farm. I'm tired. <laughs> Welcome to Straw Family Farm. I'm Christy. He's tired. Mark 439. Right, in the chapel. Mark 439. And he rose. Mark. Oh, sorry. It's cut, <laughs> not Mark. No, you mark it first, and then the director calls cut when you end. Oh. That's the little clapper thing. Mark. Go. In the chapel. Okay, come on, Mark 439. And he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace be still, and the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. Yep. Jesus come to see. We are going to pray that Jesus comes the flooding, right? Yep. All 77 counties in the state of Oklahoma have been declared a national emergency, or not national emergency, state of emergency. That's it. Yeah, we're right? not a nation. We're a state. We're a state. Hey, Oklahoma is one of a kind. Don't same. show up unless you know how to swim. But I'm telling you. All right. In the barn stalls. What do we got going on? What am I excited about? Well, we're going to do this, and then we're going to go work on something. Wait. Come on. The uh, duck had babies. So. And we're going to try and catch her and the babies. Right? That's the plan. And where are we going to put them? In the chicken coop. Where they're fed, watered, well taken care of. Yep. How many chicks? Eight. Mm-hmm. So, we were going to have duck, 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 duck. Goose. Yep, we got one of them, too. We got two of them. Right? You said duck, 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 goose. Mm-hmm. I just happen to love ducks. Right? For too long, we have to saddle a duck to get to town. <laughs> Alright, so what else is going on in the barn stalls? Mm -hmm. It's a little wet in there. What else? That's it. So, I'm getting ready to wean the goats, right? Yep. Hello. Yep, yeah, I said yep. Okay, how's the colt doing that got cut up? She's doing good. She's pretty much healed up. Are you going to participate with me? I'm going to take a nap. <laughs> Come on. Let's do this and get it done. Alright. So, anything else that's going on? Zip, zada, zilch. Babies are going to start going to their new homes. We've got two that are going for show. Have their tails fallen off so that they can go? And they're... Yeah, the tails parts. fell off. Their parts have not. So. And you're watching for fly strike, right? Yep. Okay. Once their parts have fallen off, then they go, right? Yep. Okay. She came out and did samples and tagged mm -hmm. them, and they're getting ready for Coffeeville, correct? Yep. So. Anyway, anything else? Okay. You sure? Nope. He's been gone, so Miss Longhorn, how's she doing? Good. Did your dad check her when she came up? I don't know. Yesterday she was off by herself and just kind of blah. So I'm hoping she's fine. She will be. Um, I think really there's nothing major going on. The dogs, of course, have been in and out of the house, right? They're wound up. They're always wound up when they're in the house. But anyway, anything else? Really isn't going on a whole lot going on in that. Um, mending fences. You fix fence for a friend today. Mm -hmm. But here, not a whole lot going on in that department. It's just too wet to do anything. Yeah. Um, anything else going on? I mean, we really... Zip, 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 zip. Nothing. I mean, it's just flooding and we go and try to move the water off best we can and there's no way where for it to go so not anything going on right all right all right in the yarn farm now there we do have a few things going on we've got the thing this weekend right it's not this weekend it's coming up this is saturday right sunday, this is sunday. i don't know what day it is <laughs> it's sunday <laughs> Um, Memorial Day weekend. Next 
this coming up Saturday now. June 1st is our uh, farm spa day, right? Mm -hmm. We have a couple of spots left open for that. Mm -hmm. If anybody's interested, make sure you give me a call. I get your name on the reservations. Mm -hmm. uh, Ashley was out working on that this last weekend, and she's going to be out 7 in the morning. There's a couple things we didn't get done. And part of it is because the barn kept flooding, we had to move the rooster. Because when we opened the doors to try and air out the barn, the other chickens, or the outside roosters, came inside and were trying to beat up on him. So we had rooster fights. So we got all those roosters out, closed the door up, and then with the big door open, Leighton kept jumping in and wouldn't stay out. So we're going to have to tie her out and move the rooster, and then we can get in there and get the barn done. Right? Right. Um, we know how we want it set up. I just have to clean the front part where we've got all the fleece in that. Correct? Yep. So, anything else? Fireflies and stargazing. Right? It's coming up. Yep. Um, well, it's just little stuff like that. Nothing major. Right? Right. I think this week's podcast is kind of pointless at this point. <laughs> yep, pretty much. We didn't do much. Huh? We just dodged naders all week. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll get to that here in a minute, but... All See, right. Was it we podcast on The Monday garden, yeah. Last week. We'll get start, to that. Started raining that day. In the fields. And it's been raining ever since. In the fields, um... Zip out of zilch. Nothing. Just a little rain. Well, no, the garden that Ashley planted has kind of died. It's all just drowned. There's nothing. Well, no, that's not true. I think the bell pepper plant's still out there and the stuff that was in the container gardens, I think, is doing good. But other than that, all the cantaloupe, watermelons, I zucchini. The strawberries. I know. I haven't looked either. So, I'm hoping that the strawberries, because they're in a raised bed, they should do good. And then the ones in the container gardens are doing good. But anything that I planted in the ground, other than the bell pepper, well, and the asparagus is still hanging on, but I can't harvest yeah. it this year. Yuck. <laughs> Should have figured the stuff we don't eat grows. It's a perennial. It comes back on its own. Kind of like Who the likes onion. asparagus anyways? You haven't even tried asparagus. Sounds healthy. Shouldn't eat it. Mm-hmm. So, pretty much, again, it comes down to the rain in the field. So, I guess moving on to in the farmhouse, huh? Hey, what deal? It's dry inside. Mm -hmm. Till you let the dogs in. <laughs> mm -hmm. Then what happens? It's a little wet. Yep. So, all right. So, let's talk about the rain. We were podcasting last week, and we just said it was flooding. Lapped up to the back door. Started to, like, seep in as it was rushing by because our thing doesn't... It wasn't bad. Mopped every once in a while. Got up in the middle of the night, mopped. Nothing... I mean, it wasn't, like, flowing in here, flooded. But it was lapping in the back door. Other than that, that's the most damage we had inside the house. <laughs> then... The that was Monday, mm -hmm. right? Yep, and then it's rained like every night. I've lost track of what nights. The only thing I know is Thursday night I was in town because the main road was gonna flood out and I need to be able to get to work, correct? Yep, and then pretty much just raining there's no place for it to go my driveway's washed out pretty bad but nothing we can't live with right yeah what else the county got some new rocks so they're good they lost a lot <laughs> yep the county is washed away and half my driveway's in the county road so we re-rocked the road <laughs> but I have a picture somewhere of this road, I think Wednesday morning, you see like a half mile all underwater. It wasn't just the little spot normally that washes out of here, but both creeks, everything was just out thing. So, 
we had that going on. Uh, just basically trying to help neighbor, you know, all 77 counties in Oklahoma are in a state of emergency. We heard that there was going to be some FEMA help coming in, but that's not anything that is going to concern us, I don't think. Right? I don't think so. The problem is, is that every night it rains like half an inch. If it would stop raining at night and give Oklahoma time to siphon off the water, we'd be good. Correct? Right? Yeah. Give us a little while, send it down to the Gulf of Mexico. Mm hmm. Get it down there and get it gone. But right now it's just like all the dams are at full capacity. I mean, all the lakes are at full capacity. The dams are letting out as much water as they can. Full towns have been evacuated. And that's really. We've been watching the news, doing chores, yeah. making sure the animals have. We try to have each stall like humped up a little bit so that they have some dry to get to. But the ground is so saturated, even those humps are damp, correct? Mm -hmm. Nothing you can do about it. Mm -hmm. So, and the inside of the barn is damp. It was taking on water at one point. Now it's just at the doors that need to dry out. Right? Yep. Um, what else? Pretty much that's it. Mm -hmm. It's just all wet. There's nothing else that we can say about it other than it's wet. What'd you do this weekend, son? Went roping. Didn't do any good. Went and saw your girlfriend? Yep. Went roping. No good? Nope. No. Tell us about the adventure to get gone. It was a little wet. Why? It keeps raining. Come on. Tell them what happened. Well, I went to leave and some of the roads weren't in a flood, so I had to look up and see. They can't understand the thing you're saying. I know. You're, you're tired. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. All right. Say it again. Uh, when I went to leave, they were closing roads, so. Due to high water. Yep. So, when I came home, I actually had to come, like, 30, 40 minutes out of the way to come home because the roads were still closed. Yeah. So, where we're at, there's several ways to get across to different towns. There's Highway 10, right? Yep. What's wrong with Highway 10? Uh, washed out. Washed out. There's Highway 28. What's wrong with Highway 28? It's underwater. Underwater. There's Highway 60. Yeah, they got a bridge closed. They have a bridge closed, so it has nothing to do with the flood. They were working on it long before the floods came. Yeah. It's a year-long project, so there's that. But the detour for that is Highway 28, the one that's underwater. <laughs> All right, so then there's Winging on Ramp. Which is a sh cut across. It's not really a highway. It's just, it's just a, county. A, a county paved back road. Right? Yep. What's wrong with Ring on Ramp? Underwater. Everything's underwater in Oklahoma, folks. Bring your scuba gear and we'll come go scuba diving. There was jokes that for Memorial Day, everybody in Oklahoma was going to the lake. We were all just going to stay home and let it come to us. <laughs> And that's pretty much the way it's gone, huh? Yep. All right, so the next major highway is 169. It's closed. Yep, it's closed nine miles south of here. Correct? Yep. No, it's closed nine miles south of Noah, which would be 20 miles south of here. Yep. Because through all this, we could get to Noah, like where there's a homeland and mm -hmm. yeah. a case she's in a loves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When it, water got up to the road, but it never got on the road. Thursday night, I actually spent in town at Nan and Papa's house in town mm -hmm. because the water had lapped up to the side of the road, and they were scared that overnight it would rise up and flood it out, and then I wouldn't be able to get to work. So, mm -hmm. RJ met me with a bag at Pyramid Corner, which is right there. I went back to town and stayed in town. He stayed out here. 
then the plan was for you and me to switch spots, right, in yep. case the water did rise, so that he could go to his rodeos, and then I'd be here at the farm to take care of the farm. Yep. You almost didn't get that plan accomplished, did you? Almost, no. They closed the road 20 minutes after I went across it, 30 minutes after mm -hmm. I went across it. Yep, because I asked him if he actually legally went through, or he yeah, says, Mom, it was just down to one lane. They had a guy out there letting things go both ways, but they were getting ready to close it. He said when it went to any lower than one lane, they had to close it. So he got through by the skin of his teeth. My teeth don't have skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the whole point. Oh. So he got through there, and then by the time he was ready to come home, it was closed, huh? Yeah. So and it's still way. closed. Yeah. It takes a long way home. Yep. So, other than that, I mean, other than flooding, we're not hurting. We're alive. We have food, right? We're snacking. Mm -hmm. I'm eating veggie straws. Mm. I love those things. Um, pretty much nothing major here. Finding the animals dry places, making sure they don't, don't develop a cough from the water and the wet. Yep. And honestly, that just entails going around and checking them all the time. If we hear one cough, we'll stay out there and kind of meander through them for a while. 30, 40 minutes. If we don't hear anything cough, we're good. If they cough, RJ whips out a thing of antibiotic and gives them a shot to help them recover, correct? Yep. Other than that, and we haven't had to do that. We're, we go out and watch for it, but we haven't had to doctor anything. I was more worried about the kids than anything, correct? Yep. So, anything else going on? Don't lose those batteries. Gotta have them. I was actually looking for those earlier today. Um, anything else? Nope. That's it. Bye, see you guys. <laughs> We're going to get ready and go see if we can catch those ducks. It's dark and she should be going underneath her nest. Yep. And then we should be able to get them and transport them to the barn or to the coop, right? Yep. So we'll let you know how that goes next week in the podcast. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, unless you want to splice it on the end of this. I don't care. Whatever you want to do. We'll see. We're tired. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm off of here. All right. See you. Bye. Bye. Stay safe, everybody, and happy Memorial Day.